Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend Guide Live. So, something kind of dark happens when we make Christianity an entirely spiritual religion, an entirely, well, actually not bodily religion. We, we start to talk like the only real point of the whole thing is that if you're good now in a body, one day you'll get to have a soul that goes to heaven where nothing bad can happen. But that's also then where God is sort of trapped in that faraway heaven where there is no real help. We don't actually mean it this way and we'll sure still pray for help down here but deep down we've got this this feeling that God is very very far away and and maybe occasionally he'll drop us a care package but that's not really his goal his goal is just sort of one day you'll go to heaven and that doesn't help down here I it, it gets old real real quick in fact one of the earliest heresies that Christians encountered was this thing called Gnosticism that basically said your body is bad, your soul is what's good, and your soul is what's needing saved. And really, the, the best thing in the world that can happen is that you can escape this body and go to heaven. But the truth is, when God made Adam and Eve, he made them with bodies. And when God redeemed us, he took flesh and he died and physically rose from the dead and when he deals with us today it's not just that he deals with us by dropping down care packages from heaven where he's stuck it's what he actually comes to us through word and sacrament to be bodily present and help us bodily and so when he gives us baptism baptism is for more than just heaven it's for a, a resurrection baptism is not just for your soul it's for your body also the, the promise that God would make to you is more than just a cloud. He promises you the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting, like Jesus who rose from the dead. In the large catechism, Luther writes, For that is the reason why these two things are done in baptism, namely, that the body, which can apprehend nothing but the water, is sprinkled, and in addition, the word is spoken for the soul to apprehend. Now, since both the water and the word are one baptism, therefore body and soul must be saved and live forever, the soul through the word in which it believes, but the body because it is united with the soul and also apprehends baptism as it is able to apprehend it. We have, therefore, no greater jewel in body and soul, for by it we are made holy and are saved, which no other kind of life, no work upon earth can attain. See, your baptism redeems not just your soul, but your body with it. And we're uncomfortable with that because we look at our bodies and they break down. They're not good enough, which is why we have a baptism. See, God doesn't just give you a baptism so that you can say, one day I'll go to heaven. He gives you a baptism that says something about your body right now. For every list that you have of things that just are breaking down as you get older, for all the things that you feel deep down aren't good enough or tall enough or skinny enough or smart enough of everything that we feel like we don't fit inside of inside of our bodies we can speak your body is redeemed right now because you are baptized your body right now is tied to the resurrection your body right now is something that god loved so much that he came down into this world to bleed and die so he would not just save your soul but all of you soul and body together because it is not one is better than the other god made both redeemed both and will resurrect both. And so you can say then, you are more than what you look like. You are more than what you can do. You are even more than just a soul. You are a, re a redeemed, baptized Christian. You are body and soul together, loved by God. And yes, right now our soul is as heavy with the weight of sin. And yes, right now our bodies are breaking down by the weight of sin. But God has redeemed us from sin. He has bled and died to forgive that sin, take it away in such a, a permanent capacity that even should death come along, God will rip us back out of the tomb itself self and speak to our bodies now so that we can actually look in the mirror again and say, yes, all of these things are not good enough yet, but they are baptized right now. They are washed with God's holy word, which saves not only from sin, but even from death itself, which gives an identity holy and precious, more so than gold or silver could buy, that then make me worthy of love, not just in what I wish that I was, not just in what I one day might be in heaven, but right now, washed clean in the blood of Jesus, washed clean in the waters of baptism where his word is joined to water. There, we have something precious, a body and a soul redeemed to rise again from the dead.